the sequential Prophet X, an awesome sounding synth and sample player, but seriously underdeveloped when it comes to sample and patch import and organization of memory. It's a disaster. Nothing we can do about that. But since I make a lot of patch and sample packs for the Prophet X, here's how you can edit the patch sysx files so you can put any patch wherever you want in whatever bank you want. Okay, here's the example. I have a patch in memory bank U2, patch number 128, and you get this sysx file from me. But you want to put it into your memory bank U1 at patch number 80. To be able to do that, you have to edit the sysx file itself. And this is how a patch sysx file for the Prophet X is set up. And always remember, these values are set in hexadecimal values. It starts with the F0, followed by 01, which is the manufacturer ID of sequential. Then you have 30, which is the machine ID of the Prophet X. And then comes 02, which means here comes program data. And then comes the bank number, but the Prophet X will always display this plus one, meaning if you want to put something in bank U1, the value here has to be 00. zero. And then comes the program number, and the same thing applies here. If you want to put something at bank patch 1, you have to put in the value 00. zero. If you want to put something in patch 10, the value has to be 09, etc., etc. And after this comes a lot more sysx data, which we don't have to care about right now, but these are all the settings for that particular patch. And at the very end comes F7, which means end of exclusive data. This was the patch in a sysx format. The first four bytes will never change, only the bank number and program number will have to be changed in the sysx file you're going to edit. Here's a couple of examples. In the first line here, we have a patch in bank U3, shown as 02, and program number 1, shown as program number 00. Remember, plus 1. The next line, showing a sysx patch file, which will store the program at bank U3, program number 2. Again, remember, everything is shown plus 1 on your actual Prophet X. And the last example, the bank number is shown as 02, meaning bank U3. And the program number is 1E, that's a hexadecimal value. And in the decimal value, that is 30, meaning the patch will be stored at program 31 on your Prophet X. That was the theory, how do we do it then in the practical world? Well, first we have to import a sysx file to edit it. I'm using HXD here, a binary decoder, which is free to download. So let's import that sysx file we're working on. And here it is, patch 128 from bank U2. And if you import this into your own Prophet X, it will of course go into bank U2 at program number 128, because the sysx file itself has those values baked in. That's why we have to edit it. And if you browse quickly through the quite large patch sysx file, you can see traces of something readable here. The patch name is actually decoded as ASCII. Interesting. Anyways, it's the first few bytes we're interested in here. So let's break this down again. Every system exclusive message must start with F0. We have that here. Then the manufacturer ID. We have it. The machine ID for the Prophet X. And program data is following. And the first one is bank number, shown here as 01 which means bank U2 on your Prophet X. And we have the program number shown here as 7F, meaning 127, which again means program patch number 128 on your Prophet X. So these two, we have to change the bank number and program number if we want to transfer this patch to another location on another Prophet X, or our own for that matter. So let's do it. Firstly, I'm going to change the bank number. This is supposed to go into bank U1, which means bank number 00. So I just enter 00 on the keyboard and that's done. Now I must change the program number to store this at another patch location. And it now says 7F, which was uh, patch number 128. I must change that to patch number 80. So uh, I just convert this value uh, patch number 80 from decimal to hexadecimal. I'm using an online converter here to do that. 
and I just type in 80 in the decimal number field here. But remember, 80 will actually be the wrong number to put in here because plus one, remember? So I have to put in 79 and I convert that to hex, a hexadecimal value, which is 4f. This is the value I have to put into program number in the sysx file itself. So I just remember that one and go back to the editor. So instead of 7f, I have to put in 4f. So let's do that. Whoops, not 74, but uh, 4f, that's right. That's all there's to it. I've changed the bank number and program number. Now I just save this file and I give it a name showing me what bank and what patch location this is supposed to go into, and I'm done. To verify that this actually works, let's open up a MIDI SysX transfer program. I'm using BOM SX here, and open up that file we just edited and saved. You can use MIDI AUX if you want to, of course. Whatever transfer program you want, here's the SysX file. You can see the bank number and program number as we just edited. And let's now send this to our profit X and see if it works. And here's bank U1, program 80, which is now only a basic program. So let's send it from our program and see what happens. Whoops, there it is. Transferred into the right bank and the right patch location. Memory bank U1, program 80. But here's the kicker, you can overwrite your factory banks in the ProfitX as well. So instead of uh, transferring this patch to U1, 2, 3 or 4, you can transfer it to F1, F2, F3 and F4 if you want to, and even A1, A2, A3 and A4, which was meant for add-on packs like this. And the way you do it is exactly as I've shown you already, so here is F1, patch 5. So let's transfer this um, memory Moog patch to this memory location. F1, P5. So now I just load up that file in my sysx transfer program and I uh, change the bank number. And in this case it's 04, it's factory memory location 1. 00, 01, 02 and 03 are the U banks and 04, 05, 06, and 07 are the F banks. And I changed the program number. I set that to 04 because it has to go into patch number 5, plus 1, remember? So the program number will be shown as plus 1 on your profit X. And after I've done that, all I have to do is check that the sysx string is correct, 04, 04 in this case. And I press send, and voila! The patch is transferred to memory location F1, P5. I've overwritten the factory patch number 5 in the F bank. And it's written there. Let's do the same for F bank number 2 and another memory location. Let's just go for patch number 6 this time. And as you can see, it's only a matter of changing a few digits in the sysx file itself and sending it to your profit X. There's really nothing to it. But just to make clear, it's only through a sysx transfer you're able to overwrite the F banks or A banks in your profit X. You can't edit a sound, a patch on your profit X and save it to the F bank or A bank. It has to be done through a sysx transfer. Here I'm in the A bank and I'm gonna transfer the patch over here as well. So just change out the bank number and the A banks are uh, numbered 08, 09, 0A and 0B for A1, A2, A3 and A4. So I just change that bank number and put in the right program number and I just press send again and uh, it's transferred. And this means we can download sysx file, patch files for our profit X from other persons and just edit the files themselves to put the patches wherever we want on our profit X. So if you buy one of my patch and sample banks for the profit X and you don't like uh, where I've stored the patches because you have some favorite patches you don't want to overwrite, then you can just import my patch sysx file like I've just shown you 
and edit the bank number and program number and assemble your own patch bank instead, which you can transfer to your ProfitX so you don't have to overwrite any favorite patches of yours. This is a way to do it. I use it all the time myself. I cut and paste individual sysx files. Remember, everything starts with F0, ends with F7 for an individual sysx patch file. And I just assemble these in, yeah, the editor of choice, resave it as a sysx file, and then I can import it, and it goes into another location on my ProfitX. It's fast, it's easy, I don't have to rely on third-party apps, I can do this for free, and I highly suggest you check this out. I hope you found this um, video interesting and useful. Thanks for watching, I'm Espencroft, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!